Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be installing, um, provisioning the SNMP v3 protocol on one of the, on the New York router, which is currently uh, speaking SNMP v1 to Observium. We want to change that so it's talking SNMP v3. Uh, SNMP v3 is encrypted, password protected, so we don't recommend that you use SNMP v1. And I'm going to show you what's kind of a little bit of a tricky process, in my opinion, to uh, work with these um, Nokia routers and SNMP v3. So here we go. OK, so the goal is to get New York speaking to Observium in SNMP v3. So let's look at that. Here's New York. Configure system security SNMP. Actually user Wizard SNMP. Wizard underscore SNMP. So every single router, this is an individualistic uh, flow here because these are derived. This is a hash value of a key that's derived from a password and the engine ID of the router. So if I do show system information, we see the engine ID of this router right here. So I have already configured the SNMP key utility on this Ubuntu server. And this is a utility that allows us to create these keys basically based on a password and the engine ID. And so we're going to use this to configure these routers. This has to be installed. And so the commands to install this were right here. So sudo apt install libnet snmp perl sudo apt install libcrypt desk perl and sudo apt install libdigest hmath perl you know i did some searches to determine the name of the packages with apt cache there so we're going to um, go ahead and continue with our snmp key so I believe we already have, yeah, we already have the engine ID, so we just need to use SNMP key, DAW, Wizards World, and the engine ID. We get these outputs here. Here's our keys that we need for both the auth and the priv. We do not capture this 0x, and we come back over here. Let's Enter these commands. Access SNMP, password, wizards world. Um, let's see. Console member admin. And finally, well, not finally, group SNMP v3. Oh. Uh, yeah, so let's do this one at a time. Authentication, HMAP, SHA-196, and then we paste in our first key. Come back here, grab our second key. Two, three, one, twenty-eight, eight, yes, one, twenty-eight. Paste that in. Uh-oh. Miss something uh, privacy, the word privacy, missed that, right? 
here. And then group group SMMP three three. Okay. These will look similar, but ooh, I messed up. I think I messed up. These should not be identical if I had the correct. Let's just look here it is oh yeah the engine ID these are virtual routers so yeah the engine IDs are all the same I could change it but normally on most you know on a physical router the engine ID will always be different so here here they look the same they're both so and the next trick, SMMP. Yeah, community. Uh, wait, not SMMP. Yeah, see, this is SMMP one. And this is SMMP V3. So we can just actually capture this command, bring it over here. We can capture this, bring it over here, save this, and then remove, I'm sorry, uh, no access group SMB31. Get rid of that. No community. Oh, uh, don't make me type all that. Uh, no community. I have to really do this. Had to know it to be able to delete it. Okay, that's interesting. So, okay, so we've actually finished already. Um, I would have liked to have gone into this again, just installing the SNMP key utility. Just remember about that, basically. And here, one more time, you know, here's the commands that it takes to install this thing. It's kind of a weird way that this works. It was very not intuitive for me when I first started doing this. So. Uh, let's come back to Observium. Let's look at our devices. Let's uh, delete a device. We're going to delete. Okay, where's the devices? Ah, here. We're going to delete him. Bang, bang. He's gone. Got rid of him. Now we're going to see if we can add him back. as a version 3. So after this, everything's going to be version 3. I did make a mistake. I didn't let everything have read-write read um, administrator access. I'll go back in and fix that later. Okay. Everything is up. Encrypted. SNMP traffic. Here you can see different messages that came in. So I hope that was uh, pretty explanatory for people, but should do the trick.
uh, should be able to come up with SNMP v3 into your Observium or your other SNMP network monitoring application. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.